Good day to everyone. The days are getting sunnier and I feel more productive and more creative. That's why I decided to make a video that I wanted to make for a really long time. Uh, so this video is going to be about the coffee plant that I've sowed at the beginning of the previous autumn. So you are going to see the process of me growing this plant and also the present day result of it. So. Uh, yeah, that's my little doll. So stay tuned. I've bought the coffee bins at the local garden market and you need to be careful about this because you have to buy the beans which are not dried. So to buy that from the supermarket is not a good option because nothing will sprout from that. I've chosen the Arabica coffee. I've been reading a lot about it and they say that this type of coffee is rather picky about soil, about the conditions in which you're going to grow them, but it's one of the most common types of of coffee which is grown by other gardeners from different areas. There were two coffee beans only so the chances of sprouting weren't very high but for that you need to keep the coffee beans in the solution of potassium permanganate. They do that because sometimes the beans can be old and soaking them into the solution can help them recover their sprouting power. I kept them there for 12 hours. Be careful about the color of the solution because it shouldn't be very strong. Just judge by the color and don't make it too strong. After 12 hours, the beans became bigger because they soaked in a lot of water. I chose the soil for large home plants and you have to be careful about the way you plant it, otherwise nothing will sprout. So just look at the way I do that and put the bean in the same position into the soil. Now you have to be patient because the shell of the bean is very thick, that's why it needs more time to sprout. And after one month since I had planted the bean, there was some movement in the ground. Some of the gardeners tried to remove this hard shell before planting the bean, but I was too afraid of damaging the bean itself. The bean started the process of rooting, but it was very hard for it to get rid of the shell. Been reading a lot about how to help it. First of all, you need to create the humid conditions in order to get rid of the shell. The beans were growing higher and higher. The humidity conditions didn't work out and I was really afraid that they won't manage to get rid of the shell. That's why I decided to help them a little bit. I took the scissors and I've cut the hot shell really carefully in order not to damage the plant and I made it a little bit open. After that, I spotted some green color going out of the shell which means that the plant had enough power to get rid of it. And I was really happy about it. By the way, that is the condition of the beans with my help. Two and a half months since I've planted them. That what happened one week later, they finally managed to get rid of the hard shell. And I've never seen such a beautiful sprout. The leaves were very unusual. The leaves opened up in two, three days and I couldn't take my eyes off them. That is the condition of the coffee plants three months since I've planted them and they were growing really slowly because it was winter. Back then it was the mid of December.
They started growing more leaves at the end of January and that was almost four months since I've planted them. You see why they say that you have to be really patient about it, but definitely it's better to sow them during summer or during spring. But I wanted to get my coffee plant as soon as possible, but I needed to wait a little bit longer than usual. That is their condition at the beginning of March. It took six months to get them like that. Surely they are growing bigger right now because the amount of sunny days is increasing all the time and I'm particularly hopeful for them. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video really useful and helpful if you want to plant Arabica coffee. I will continue doing some of the videos on the development of the coffee plants. That's why stay tuned. Goodbye.